Uh, yes, uh, this goes to Mary Louise. Um, do you support removing the cost of sewer from the town's tax rate and billing residents for that service? No, not necessarily. We're a community. I don't have any problem with sharing uh, that expense. I don't see, but, but when we get industry in, we should be taxing appropriately. We have not been looking out for the resources that we need to, um, to help give us the revenue coming in to the tax base. I was furious when I saw the industrial surcharge fee referenced in the Wright Pierce book. Uh, we let that brewery go for four years and operate without the industrial user fee, the industrial surcharge. And nobody, nobody knew or nobody told the public that they hadn't got the treatment section in place in that brewery. We've got a lot of stuff that needs to be done, but no, I don't. I don't see that would do any do any good for people. Um, I think that we should keep going, but try to manage and try to find proper, appropriate sources of revenue. Let's go right around the table, Tim. This is a, this is kind of a complicated question mm. to uh, to set up this uh, sewer enterprise fund. Uh, would in fact, at least in conceptual theory, uh, properly spread out the costs based on actual usage. That usage being defined by how much water you're taking in, not how much is going out. But it would be a reasonable approximation, more than what we have right now. At the same time, however, there is just a whole slew of other problems. Number one of which is uh, this is no longer going to be a tax deduction on your federal income tax. <laughs> And for that reason and others, which I will, do not have time to go into, it introduces a series of problems, and I cannot support it. However, there is, there is some nuanced changes that could be made toward making it more based on use, usage fee and still preserving the federal income tax. For example, if we were to establish a, a baseline of, say, what's the average uh, water usage for uh, a four-bedroom home and say, okay, that four-bedroom baseline is in the tax rate. Anything above that that you use, you're getting a separate bill on it. This way would be actually going after the extremely high water uses, such as laundry mats and car washes yeah. that are contributing the real uh, uh, dominant uh, increases in costs to the wastewater treatment plant. So I think there is a middle road that could be carved here. I don't support the Warren article because I don't think we need to study what is really a relatively simple financing mechanism. What we need to do is have leadership that says, this is the kind of thing we want to go to. We want to try to start going down this road, but we don't want to go all the way down the road. We can do it in steps. The four-bedroom standard is the right standard to start with. Let's start with that. But we don't need to go 100% on it and take away everyone's federal tax deduction. That is just too harmful to our, uh, our citizens and our taxpayers. I don't support it as has as, as been proposed. Thank you. Uh, Ryan, do you support removing the cost of sewer from the town's tax rate and billing residents for the service? That's the question. Um, no, I do not. Um, there's a lot of talk about new businesses coming in and in the industrial zone and charging them for sewer. On the zoning board, we just had a large tract of land came in here, and you'd be surprised to know that our industrial zone doesn't have sewer. They can't hook up to the sewer. <clears throat> um, the brewery that you spoke of was Smutty Nose and they went out of business and there's a lot of talks I've heard about the next person coming in doing the stuff that they did but they were abating their water they were actually trucking that out am I correct so <coughs> there wasn't an extra burden on the town with that where it, it seemed like it when I but then I looked into it more so the water that they had they were actually taking out of here to another place that wanted the water and they were using it so we were actually u processing less water because they were taking it out of here um, I don't think that it attracts industry to this town. The industry in this town, I think we could use some help, and we're not attractive as we could be. Some other towns are more attractive. Um, cost per square foot, building, stuff like that, stuff that towns do. Um, I think we should be more for getting business here rather than try to get a cash grab and get sewer and, and all kinds of other things out of them. Yeah. You know, I think it's a complicated question, and I, I, I don't think I have the answer right now to it. And I think, I think there are a lot of issues. I think Tim brought up some issues. Brian brought up some issues. I mean, there is the federal 
tax deduction, you know, but should things be done just because of a tax deduction? I, I am for the study. I am for the study in coming up with a well-developed plan to implement that will make it fairer for all people concerned, both residential and industrial. I think Smutty knows that was a, a shame. They, were, they, they tried very hard. They were good, good uh, loyal citizens, and, and the, it fell apart. What they had for their treatment, they didn't get, but they were trucking that out. So it wasn't overloading our system. All right. Can I respond? Mr. Two quick responses, and let's get on to this the next This is a question. perfect example. Call to spend more money for yet another study when it's just a financing mechanism. There's not a lot of complications here. Either you do or you do want not want to have it separately built. This is an example of wasteful spending of taxpayer money. That was referring to earlier. The fact that they were trucking out that water happened very late after they were being called out on the violations of their of their state permit. Okay. Mary Louise? Yes, really quickly. We're two decades now into the 2000s, and you have a whole west side of this community in this modern day and age that has not got access to sewer. Uh -huh. Talk about a future problem. 